Hi guys, just doing a quick um, uh, video really on CND. I've, I've not had a look at this before, just having a quick look uh, through the market. It's, just, it's not a very good uh, coin in terms of market cap. It's a very high risk coin, so I wouldn't commit too much capital to the move, which I'm about to show in this video. Um, but I do like descending triangle breakouts. Um, you don't see them very often, but if there's an upward move into them, um, Roughly 73% uh, of the time, you're more likely to get an upward breakout than you are downward. But we'll get into that in a minute. So, anyway, CND market cap is tiny. Um, it's a shitty little coin you can find on Binance, as I said, uh, circulating supply, total supply. But it's less than 100 million, so it's quite a high risk play. I wouldn't commit too much capital to this, maybe 10% of your overall portfolio. We've already gone over how to manage uh, into large, mediums and small caps. Um, small caps are very high risk, but if you want to make a quick flip, um, C and D is pretty good. So just going into this, as we said, um, statistical analysis shows that if you get an upward movement into a descending triangle, which looks as though this is what we're dealing with here, 73% of the time the, the breakout is going to lead to the upside. and um, the Elliott wave count on this is, but that's obviously your one, two, three, four, five. That go, that goes without saying A, B, C, D, E. So you're getting your three, your five subwaves here, and it's touched each of the lines fairly well, and it's filling out the triangle. What you want to see with any triangle, whether it's descending, I mean, the, that this was the ascending triangle, wasn't it? That was happening in verge. Um, and then also you get a descending triangle. So this can fall to the bearish side, but also to the bullish side. What you want to see is the triangle hitting this line at least twice, hitting this line at least twice, ideally even more times. And you want it filling out the triangle. You don't want any white spaces. You've got white space here, here, here. You want it filling it out as much as possible. And that's what you like to see in sort of triangles. Um, so if it's not filling out the spaces or hitting the, the lines, it's not really a triangle. So very quickly obviously volume always drops in a triangle so now we're looking for any spike any whale spikes here to get the volume up so we'll have a look at closer we'll have a closer look at that in a short while as i said it is very high risk because it's a small shitty little market coin i wouldn't commit too much capital to do this move if you wanted to do it um the projected target is as we know you just take the um this distance here and then you can just add it onto the breakout let's say it happens well somewhere there you're looking at here, so that would potentially be a target there, also potentially a little bit higher, potentially there. Um, but I do like descending triangle breakouts. Um, I like them just as much as ascending, if not a little bit more, um, simply because the statistics are going with you. So that would be a good place to take a profit target. Um, it's not a huge move, it's only for a 40-50%, but that would just be an initial target. Um, hopefully that could stimulate a new one, two, three, four, five pattern. So hopefully out of this we'll get some sort of one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So it's going to find some resistance here, either top of wave one or top of wave three. Um, obviously the initial fib count is starting from here, so you can you can start at one two, one two one two three four five three four five. Then you can start here. So um, your fib counts. I mean your your one to one is here. So there's there's no point even thinking past that. So um, yeah, let, let's just stick to a one for the time being. But potentially it could go higher. Um, so yeah, that's 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 your target. So we'll put a way five target here. I said in, initial profit here, but potentially. Um, it could give you a gain of you know one one hundred percent. So as I said, I wouldn't commit too much capital only because it's a small market cap stock. Um, but statistically, if price moves into it, seventy three percent statistically of it going up. Those are your targets. Those are your initial targets. Um, and then the other thing to say is that we know once again from statistical analysis that um, the price. Um, the time at which it breaks out of the apex is on average 64% of the distance from here roughly speaking all the way to here so if we just do a quick bar check do a quick mic check on this shit so 110.72 okay so that's roughly around uh, here which is basically today on two hourly candle so statistically it should break out today if it is a descending triangle. I mean, oh, the most um, explosive um, 
was it 171 that I did? Yeah. Now we know that the most explosive movement is between 80 to 85 percent of the distance from the apex. So minus times by 136. So 136 is uh, there. So let's just mark that off there, and then 0.85. 145 yeah so 145 is uh, there so statistically um, it should break out soon and the most explosive breakout is going to be here although it could very well happen sort of as you're watching this sort of video sort of thing there um, but it could happen all the way up until um, what's that 31st of December 8 o'clock so it could happen at some point over the next 40 72 hours so that's the statistics on it um, that's the Elliott wave count on it and now you're just looking for some volume spikes now volumes really diminished all the way down and as you know from all of my damn videos I love triangles they consolidate for God knows how long and cause is proportional to effect okay so let's just write that here cause that's the proportional sign. I'm sure you guys know that from your high school uh, GCSEs or whatever. <clears throat> um, yeah. And by the way, if you want to learn this stuff, you got to be good at maths. So um, if any of you guys are, are in college or whatever, or in sixth form, then maths is what you need. So A, B, C, D, E. So as you can see, it's already um, you're getting some whales stepping in here. Um, there's a whale. There's a big fat whale. I caught I caught this whale. I caught him. Harpooned his ass. All right. Yeah, there's a bit of volume stepping in, so it's just a matter of time. Uh, but yeah, very high risk play only because it's a shitty little coin. Okay, probably you guys have never heard of this. I didn't hear of this as of the last couple of hours, but I do like descending triangle breakouts. So yeah, good luck if you guys want to commit small amount of your capital, go for it um, because it's been consolidating. The effect is going to go up. Statistically, it should break out. Um, so yeah, as a good risk reward play. Obviously, if it breaks down towards the downside, then obviously you can close out your position. So maybe you can keep your stop underneath here if you like. But any sort of significant high volume break off the triangle. Obviously, this is just statistics, right? Um, it's probabilities that we're trading. It can still break to the downside. There is a a small chance of that. I'd say. The chance of this going to the upside is probably 80-85% and anything above 70% I'm fairly happy with. Um, besides, the risk will only be very small. If it breaks here on considerable bearish volume uh, to the downside, obviously you can just close your stop orders, have a couple of sell orders here. But um, it looks as though it's getting ready. But as I said, high risk play. I wouldn't commit too much capital, maybe 10% of your overall portfolio to this. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd put that one out there. This is CND BTC. Chat to you guys soon. And McAfee's still a dick. <laughs>